Coming in at number eight is the Duke Blue Devils. So I can't hold my comments to the end. I personally think that Duke should be ranked in the top three and we are gonna discuss why. Let's go. While Duke did lose a lot, they lost uh, Filipowski and point guard Jared McCain to the NBA. They do have returning players. They have Tyrese Proctor, who averaged 10.5 points per game, three rebounds per game, and 3.7 assists, and Caleb Foster, that averaged 7.7 points per game and 2.4 rebounds. Coming in from the transfer portal is Sion James, coming from Tulane, averaging 14 points per game and 5.5, 5.4 rebounds, and Malik Brown from Syracuse, who is averaging 9.5 points per game and 7.2 rebounds. And I watched his highlights and he is going to make his way to the basket no matter what. Also coming in is Cameron Sheffield from Rice. He is averaging 7.6 points per game, 6.1 rebounds. And this is one that you do not want to give space on the three-point line because he is going to light it up. I think he was a great pick for the Blue Devils. And lastly is Mason Gillis from Purdue. He averages 6.5 points per game, 3.9 rebounds. Coming in from the recruiting class is number one ranked six foot nine small forward Cooper Flag. And this young man has been on the scene and showed that he can play with the best when he suited up for the Nike Hoop Summit in the World Against USA game. He's basically unstoppable and is likely to be a one and doneer, but I know that Duke's gonna get the best out of him the one year that they do have him. Also coming in is number 15 ranked, six foot seven forward Isaiah Evans. He's a little bit slim, but he's got some fight in him. And 19th ranked, six foot five shooting guard Khan Nupel, the three point sniper. He will add a lot to the Blue Devils also. And number 26 ranked six foot 10 sitter, Patrick Gangba. And he played in the FIBA U18 where they made easy work of their competition. Also coming in is number 31 ranked six foot four shooting guard, Darren Harris, and boy, can he shoot. He may very well replace Jared McCain. And last but not least, coming from South Sudan is seven foot two, Kamen Malut. You know, the team that put the scare in the Team USA during the Olympics. Well, at seven foot two, and he is quite dynamic. I mean, what, what is anybody gonna get past him, right? Nothing, absolutely nothing. He is blocking everything that's coming his way. And he can shoot. So in summary, the Blue Devils also lost Jeremy Roach, who transferred to Baylor, and Mark Mitchell heading to Missouri but I feel like the Blue Devils absolutely fill the gaps left behind and they added depth. So I'm going to give this ranking of number eight a thumbs down as I feel like Duke should have ranked much higher, as I said, probably in the top three. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.